And my first um, favorite YouTuber, equestrian YouTuber, would have. Welcome back to Lindy Lou Productions. Um, I thought I would bring you a little bit of a different video today, so it's not going to be a barn vlog, although there is one coming, so stay tuned. Um, but today I thought I would do something different, which is going to be my favorite and least favorite equestrian YouTubers. Um, I was doing these videos a couple months ago um, with like my least favorite horse breeds and favorite horse breeds, tack, not my favorite tack, etc. So I thought I would do this as something kind of different and interesting. Um, so I'm going to start, just like I did on the last videos, with my least favorite. I would have to say my top least favorite is probably Stephanie Morado. I am subscribed to her. Um, none of this is going to be like bashing or telling you to go unsubscribe or not subscribe to these people or whatever. I'm not about that. I'm just kind of giving like my little opinion, I guess, on this particular person. Um, but I just personally don't really care for her personality. She comes off as like super, super fake to me. Super fake and rehearsed, scripted kind of deal. And it just doesn't feel like real and natural to me. Just my opinion. Second least favorite would have to be Hannah Fleming. She is a, I believe, an Irish writer. Um, and like her videos are good, I guess, but she just doesn't post very frequently and she never talks in any of her videos. It's literally just writing videos and that's it. Like there's like nothing like no like connection to her in the videos at all. My third least favorite actually happens to also be a Hannah. Um, it would be Hannah Beth Virginia. And she just there again doesn't post very frequently. Um, and I just find that her videos kind of tend to be like all over the place, which I can tend to do that as well. Um, but hers just have no like real cohesiveness to them. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not saying they're not like cool, like they can be interesting, but she definitely could upload more often. My fourth least favorite um, channel would have to be Ava Urson. She is, I believe, Swedish or Swiss, one of the other, one of the two, um, and she just, like, tries too hard. Um, she has beautiful horses, she has a beautiful little barn, she's a wonderful, absolutely wonderful rider. I mean, she's a really good rider, um, but she just kind of there again, her channel's all over the place with the content, and she just comes off as, like, a little bit, like, aggressive slash desperate to me and it's like kind of a turn off so my fifth least favorite um equestrian youtuber channel and this is why it's on the very bottom of the list because i'm not like 100 percent a hater at all um i'm not with any of these channels but it would probably have to be equine molly I do like her, but she tends to upload the same videos. Like, it's the same thing every time. And even though, like, she's fairly decent at, like, editing and stuff, it's just the same thing every time. It's all GoPro videos of, like, the same trail on the same horse. And then moving to my top five favorite equestrian YouTubers, I am going to start at the bottom. So my fifth favorite is Equestrian Bliss. She is in uh, the U.S. and she is like a hunter under saddle, western pleasure, or at least she used to be rider. And I just enjoy her channel because the way that she rides and the types of horses that she rides is very much so like what I kind of have always been involved in, um, in the world that I grew up in. So I just kind of relate to it and find it really interesting. And she's super funny and has a cool personality too. My fourth favorite YouTube channel um, would have to be Shadow the Unicorn. <laughs> 
She just seems like a super cool girl. She makes really quality videos. Her horses are absolutely beautiful. She is an amazing rider and her mom happens to also be hilarious. My third favorite YouTuber would be Lauren Allport. She is Irish, I believe, or originally from Ireland, um, and then she moved to Dubai for a little bit. Now she's in, I think, the Netherlands somewhere, um, and she just has a super interesting channel. She has a lot of cool different horses and babies and stuff, and she just is a really cool rider, so I enjoy her channel a lot. My second favorite equestrian YouTuber would have to be Day by Day Vlogs. <laughs> I actually found them from them commenting a couple years ago on my channel um, before they were big completely and she was commenting on a bunch of my bunny videos so we kind of just had like a little conversation back and forth and then I looked at their channel and decided to subscribe and then they just took off and I was kind of left in the dust uh, which seems to be the case but anyway so I enjoy their channel I think they're cool people I think Laura has a lot of really good messages that she likes to give people and I think um, the girls are really good riders and they take excellent care of their horses. So I enjoy their channel. And my first um, favorite YouTuber, equestrian YouTuber, would have to be Matt Harnicky. I just think that he puts out really quality professional videos that are pretty impressive most of the time. Um, I think his horses are gorgeous, I think he's a good rider, and I think he has a lot of fun stuff coming up that's going to be interesting to watch, and I just enjoy his videos. So yeah, he would have to be my first pick of a uh, favorite equestrian YouTuber. Um, so yeah, like I said, none of this in any way is bashing any of these people whatsoever. I'm not about that. I just am simply giving my kind of slight opinion on what I may or may not like. That's it. I would love it if you guys would like this video. Comment down below who your favorite and least favorite equestrian YouTubers are, and please subscribe, help a girl out. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.